morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. I am Emily, Pip's mom. And I'm Gretchen Kufa, Pip's assistant. And this, of course, is Pip, the beach cat himself. We've got his bell here. If he rings it, he gets a treat. He actually just rang it before the camera started. And then again, so we'll get these open for him. Deanna, if you're watching, these are already gone because Pip snuck into our fan mailbox and took them all out. All four of them. This is the only one he like punctured it, but I was able to save it. Destroyed them. They're all over the house. <laughs> all over the house. But he had fun and that's all that matters, right? Yes. Okay. Ah, Pip, stop. <laughs> These are a disaster. Okay. It is. Yeah, good job, Pip. It is day 41 of our quarantine. And it is Wednesday, April 22nd. Um, so yesterday was Pip's dad's birthday, as well as the Queen of England's. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Jack's a little bit uh, like royalty, huh? Yes, he is. <laughs> All right. Um, we are going to have a wonderful whoa, 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 oh, Wednesday, which means this is an interactive episode. Um, so we will be pausing. We are not live live like we were last Wednesday, but we will not rush through like the Wednesday before that. We will pause in between questions to give you a chance to answer them. So we will be asking you questions and giving you time to answer them. Like I said, find out right now, figure out as you're watching, there should be somewhere that you can leave comments. That's where you're going to be able to put your answer. So look around, move your mouse around, tap with your finger on your phone and figure out how to leave comments and we'll get to the whoa, 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 Wednesday part of the show soon. Um, okay. So we have something new on our table. Um, we're trying to follow the online trend of the whipped coffee. Um, I think, I think I need to whip mine in a bigger bowl. Uh, Gretchen does not drink coffee, so I made her a whipped hot chocolate. Did not stay as firm as the coffee. But, you want to try them? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Very good. You like it? Yeah. Yes, I do. I, I think it's great. It's not too strong? No. Oh, boy. Mine, see, I drink black coffee, so this is a lot of, uh... Yeah, it needs to be... This is a lot of sugar for, yes. for my kind of coffee. But I like the, um, I like the consistency. If you want to try this at home, it is two tablespoons of instant coffee, two tablespoons of sugar, and two tablespoons of hot water, and then you whip, 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 whip. Um, but yeah, so we are drinking our little homemade creations today. She's the best at it. This is our when we're dead. <laughs> so, Pip, would you like to start the show with Gretchen's words of wisdom? Yes, I would. Please, Gretchen. Um, it's so important to do something every day that will make you happy. <laughs> so just to let you all know that um, something very important every day that will make you happy by watching TV, um, making stuff for like nonprofits maybe, um, or just kind of relaxing, reading a book, just sitting around the house, just thinking what, um, you all would like to do. That makes you happy. That makes you faking some bodies, faking chocolate chip cookies, um, maybe just going out for a walk or talking to someone on the phone. Thank you all. <laughs> That's right, and Pip gave you a ring there, Gretchen, for those wonderful words of wisdom. What's something you've done today to make you happy? Um, I actually played with my cat, Lily and Carly. Um, I gave them some treats. I actually thought about um, how I can make a difference or help people that are in need. So, enjoy your day. Great, thank you so much, Gretchen. And as you know, it is whoa, 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 Wednesday. So let's start off with our first question, which is always the same. Um, where are you watching from, right? Yeah. So we'll give you some time to answer that. Please comment where you're watching from. We are watching from 28th Street in Ocean City. We have changed our place of quarantine, um, but we are still sheltering in place. So, that is our answer, and we will let everyone else answer now. Cool, 
it looks like we have people from all over the world. Yes. Yeah. Um, and while we're here, I will remind everyone. Yes, but I, oh my God, we're not going to get through this show. He is like so hungry today. Um, you have just a little bit of hot chocolate on your nose. There you go. Oh my gosh, you made your mess over there, aren't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> I just want to remind everyone we are doing giveaways all week. So we have new magnets. Oh my goodness, Pip. We have new magnets. They are not for sale yet. Pip loves them. See? Look at that. Uh, all you have to do is share this episode. So at the end, when you're done watching, share the episode. You'll be automatically entered. And at the end of the week, um, so on Friday's show, we will announce our winners. So we'll have five winners to announce on Friday. So five winners of magnets. You'll be able to pick which one you want sent straight to your house from Pip, not even released yet to the public. And uh, all you have to do is share this episode when uh, when you're done watching it, okay? So share the episode and we'll leave that there. Let's see, to continue, whoa, 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 Wednesday! We wanna know what everyone's favorite Ocean City memory is. Um, so I think that we're all kind of coming to terms with the fact that we may not have a normal summer. We're not sure what Pip's going to do. We're not sure what we're going to do. Yeah. Um, we're going to be taking it every day at a time. Uh, but at the end of the day, the main reason why we started Pip's book series was to take things that meant something to us and memorialize them and or honor them um, in a, a book um, so that if for some reason uh, they ever weren't around anymore, um, we could look back in our book and see them, right? Because things are always changing here. Um, and so uh, obviously our volume one and volume two, we'll see this summer, I mean, it's gonna be different, right? Yeah. Um, but we wanna know what your favorite Ocean City memory is um, over the last, you know, however many years. It could be from 50 years ago, tell us how long ago it was, but we'll go ahead and give everybody some time to answer that question. So what is your favorite Ocean City memory? My Ocean City memory is um, going to play ski ball or just walking up and down the boardwalk um, or going to the beach. What about yours, Emily? The memories that always stick out in my mind, I guess I have three. I'm gonna try not to cry for the third one. Um, I got to play mini golf when I was a kid at the mini golf course downtown that was like penguins and ice and like you felt like you were at the North Pole. That always for some reason has stuck out in my mind. Of course it is gone now that that um, mini golf course isn't there anymore. My second memory is I love the arcades. They're my favorite thing in the entire world. I love arcades. Maybe it, I'm not allowed to go to casinos according to my mother. So I think that um, I feed my gambling addiction with arcades. Uh, but I love arcades and I love um, thinking back to the early 90s when I would go with my parents uh, to the boardwalk arcades and the pokerina would be along the wall. Because um, they were like, I, don't, I mean, it, in my mind feels like 30 pokerina machines, but it was probably like 10. Uh, but they were out in front. And then my third memory that I haven't shared yet is, um, I remember, and our first book is dedicated to my grandfather, but I remember going to the beach with him, like, just a, a, a few years before he died, um, maybe even less, and it was one of those days where the waves were pretty rough, and he went out, and he was like on a sandbar, Pip, I'm telling an emotional story, you're being very rude right now, <laughs> and um, I just remember... He went out and my mom was like worried about him, but he was out and he would just bend at his hips and the waves would just hit him and he would kind of get knocked back and he was just having like the time of his life. And I just feel like um, Ocean City creates family memories in a way that other places don't always have them because when you're there, you're doing a specific activity with your family. Uh, and I, I hope, excuse me, I'm Ke <laughs> Kelly Riffa did this the other day. Kelly Riffa cried on her, on Live with Ryan and Kelly, um, because she was saying how much she wants to hug her mom and dad. And I said, wow, Kelly made it like four episodes without crying. I was like, I can't believe I haven't cried on air yet, but here we are. Okay. Um, I'm fine. It's fine. Oh my god. Okay. Pause. <laughs> this is really hard. 
I understand. We know that we come out here every day. And and we try to make it really fun for everybody, right? Yes, we do. Yeah, and but it's hard. This is really hard. Um I usually cry at night, not in the morning. <laughs> it's okay. Thanks. <clears throat> Thank you, Pip. This is why we're fostering kittens right now, because nothing is better than laying your head in a lap full of kittens, right? Yes. Um, it's so much fun. But yeah, just remember, it's okay to cry. I'm going to wipe my face off. This has been going on for too long now. <laughs> Sometimes crying makes more so funny than you brain. It's okay to cry. <laughs> Did you just say sometimes crying makes more serotonin in your brain? Yeah. Thank you for that advice. Of course, Pip, like, doesn't care at all. Mom's in, like, emotional trauma, and he's like, there you go. There you go. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's get back to the fun stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. It is. Whoa, 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 whoa. embarrassing um i'm sure some of you are crying with me so take your time and please answer our question which was what is your favorite ocean city memory right yeah um i can also remember i mean there's just so many i also remember um going to 56th street there used to be maybe it's still there but there used to be like an empty lot where you could park back in the early 2000s i guess strangest day at the beach because every time you would put your hand down into the sand hermit crabs were there and we pulled up like hundreds of hermit crabs that day. It was so strange. I've never in my life been on the beach and been in the water and just been like, oh, hermit crab, hermit crab, hermit crab. Yeah, it must be, um, it must be fun. Yeah, it was really crazy. And I also remember my friend one time, um, it might have been that same day, she was like reaching down for a hermit crab and like a real crab bitter, and she came up and she was like screaming and the crab was like dangling. That was fun. Um, but yeah, I mean, what what's... What's your guys' favorite Ocean City memory? I can't wait to read all these. Um, we'll give you some time to catch up and answer that question, right? Yes, we will. Drink break. Cheers. To no more crying on today's episode. <laughs> Where'd he go? There he is. Hey, you got to be up on the table to get treats. Um, okay, so it is, like we keep saying, Whoa, 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 whoa Wednesday! Also to be renamed Weepy Wednesday. <laughs> um, what's a question you have to ask everybody? Um, what is your favorite show that you guys have liked so far? Oh, of our show? Yeah. So what's been your favorite segment that we've done, right? Yeah. What, what's your favorite segment that we do, that we've done? Um, yeah, let's give everybody some time to answer. What's been your favorite? Um, I think um, yesterday was my favorite. I just think it's something to cherish about and something to laugh about and something to look upon about every day and saying, I just can't wait for the show to start. What did you like most about yesterday's show? Um... I think by just um, listening to Emily talk <laughs> and doing the fan mail from everybody and um, just telling the words of wisdom and the cat jokes and just being here, helping you all to <laughs> enjoy your day. Do you see Pip right now? <laughs> um, if I'm to answer that, that was a really good question to ask everybody. Um, if I'm answering that question, I think my fate. Ow! 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 My favorite episode was this one when Pip ate my hand off. Um, my favorite episode is episode one because I feel like the idea came to us and we made the episode that day and we were just so full of joy. You know what I mean? And it was yeah. like so exciting and it was such a new thing and you know we were only on like day 11 of quarantine and it felt like such a relief to have something to do. Um, so that definitely, I mean I watched it like five times because I wanted to show my parents, I wanted to show Jack, I, I wanted to edit it myself. And every time I watched it, I laughed. Um, I also looked great in that episode because I had blow-dried my hair. Yeah. <laughs> that one messy difference. But I think my favorite segment that we've done, um, I've re oh my God. I have really enjoyed um, the Pip's Cribs when everybody got to see our house. I yes. thought that was really fun um, because I thought that I really got to, like, I, th I thought it was funny, personally. Yes, it was funny. And I think that people... Well, personally, I have found that during this whole quarantine, whatever you want to call it, um, 
Now, what I found most interesting is that people have been, you know, having live interviews um, within their homes, right? So you're going yeah. to see all these celebrities' houses. And Tom Hanks went and did um, Saturday Night Live, and he hosted it from what we thought was his home kitchen. And I just kept watching it and thinking, that's Tom Hanks' home kitchen? Like, he is a movie star. Like, his kitchen is like cluttered and not very nice and this and that and anyway it turned out it was the kitchen at his office <laughs> so he has a really nice kitchen for an office um but i just think that it's super cool to be able to see all these houses and i wanted everybody to kind of see ours and i think that we you know assume that people who are quote unquote famous have these like luxurious lifestyles and it's like you know, this is a smelly sofa that costs fifteen dollars, and I don't want anybody to think that we're over here on like something fancy. You know? Yeah. We're we're not fancy. This is fun. Um, and so I thought that was a good way. It wouldn't have made sense to show everybody our house any other way. You know? So that that was probably my favorite segment. Um, all right. So we hope that you've answered that question. We'll give everybody a couple of minutes to catch up. Cheers. So again, the question is, what is your favorite segment or your favorite episode? All right. And if, um, if you don't know this, uh, at the end of every episode, until I forget, uh, we will be signing out with Mabes Babes. So you'll get to see all of our little kids. Yes. And I think we're going to move them today so that you can see them with a little bit more light because um, we're going to uh, clean a little bit. But anyway, a few pieces of fan mail. <laughs> And then we will get to Mabe's Babes, right? Yeah. So this one is a nice little Easter card. How cute. It says, you all are so possum. Pip, Meow Me, Daddy, and Gretchen. For some bunny sweet like you. Thank you for always brightening my day. You all are one in a million. Purrs and head bumps, Jackie Martin's Home Depot. And Jackie, of course, is, um, she works at Home Depot, but when Pip was a little kitten, uh, I took him to Home Depot, they're pet friendly, um, because I needed to buy something for, uh, we were closing the restaurant that I waitressed at for the season, and I needed to buy something, and Pip happened to be with me, because I had also done this other thing. Anyway, long story short, that is how we met Jackie, and we've known her ever since. Well, thank you, Jackie. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, I love when we get stamps. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Hi Pip, my name is Ben. I watch your show every morning. I really like it when you ring your bell. I have two cats, Smoke and Smudge. We are coming to Ocean City this summer. I can't wait to give you a high five. Hi Emily and Gretchen too. Love, Ben. And he drew a little orange cat, colored it in. I sent Ben back some coloring sheets so that he can uh, maybe do some of those for us too. Uh, but yeah, we heard from Ben before. Um, and Ben is in Georgia. And his day program has been canceled, just like a lot of your friends and yes. our friends. And um, we just want to say shout out to Ben. Hang in there. We know it's hard, um, but you're going to make it. And we hope that you have lots of fun stuff to do, yes. right? Thank so you, Ben. We've been to Ben a couple of times now. Speaking of, here's another fan favorite. This one is coming from Lulu, Clark, and Cooper. And it says, Dear Pip, thank you so much for doing the interview with Clark. She was really persighted. She has posted all three parts on our page and everyone loved it. We are staying really fur busy with mommy while we all must stay home to be safe. Mommy makes us all wash our paws a lot. Does your mommy make you wash your paws a lot? How about Natty and Mowgli? Mommy has also had us helping her do spring cleaning. Our little paws are working hard. Mommy says she doesn't know what she would do without all our kitten help. Last night, when we were all tucked in bed, when Cooper decided he would do a late night serenade, he sang and sang and then he brought mommy one of his toys. He is such a thoughtful guy. Lulu is ready to go exploring. She is very brave. Stay safe, Pip and family. Love and hugs and kitten purrs, Cooper, Lulu, and Clark. And we actually, I have another letter over there from them. Um, they have a friend that they think would like a letter from Pip. And I wrote them back and said, not only will I send your friend a letter, but I will also send her a little Pip. She had a stroke and she's in a nursing Aww. home. So we're going to send her a little <coughs> Pip. Um, if you don't know this, our little <coughs> Pips that we sell, well, this one, this one actually isn't one that we sell. This is the sample that was made for us to um, check. And then our foster kittens bit off the whiskers of it. Do you see that? Aww. So sad. But you have a real one. Can you hand me a real one? <coughs> if you don't know this, um, the little pips that we sell, we donate one for everyone that's bought. 
And they do come with little um, sunglasses as well. And the sunglasses are meant for cats, but these are exclusively made for us. And they look just like that. Yeah, so super cute. And we'll be donating one of these to Lulu Clark and Cooper's friend at the nursing home. And I say nursing home, it might be um, like rehab center or something like that. Don't, don't quote me on that. So we'll do one more. We have a little egg. We're behind on our mail, aren't we? Yes, we are. <laughs> and it says, Hi, Pip. I think you're cute. I like your colors and tricks. I hope to see you again soon. Bye, Max. And Max, who is age five, also drew Pip surfing. That is so cute. Yes, Thank you so, so much. so cute. And we love the little egg. Put everything back in so we can keep it nice and tidy. Um, yeah, and that is coming from Maryland. So we had a Maryland, a Delaware, a Georgia, and a Maryland today. Cool. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, before we get to Mabe's Babes, Gretchen, do you have a joke for us to finish the show? Yes, I do. What do you got? What do baby cats always wear? What do baby cats always wear? Diapers. <laughs> Diapers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Um, these jokes. Oh, boy. They just really hit the spot, don't they? Yes, they do. So, everyone, thank you so much for participating in Whoa, 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 Ooh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Here's Pip again. Um, please answer our questions so that we can get to know you better. I think it's now time for Mabe's Babes, which means we are signing off, and you can watch a few minutes of Mabel and her kittens video taken just today. So literally the day we take this, we go and take Mabel, and then that way you can see them growing, and the photos that we do are on our Instagram and Facebook every evening, and it's a daily update. Um, they are getting huge. She hasn't seen them yet today. The orange one, oh, big. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so stay Pipsy. We'll send it over now to Maeve's Babes. Come here. So Mabel's been stuck in um, her other room. So we're gonna give her a little day out. We've put the other cats in their own room, aka the bathroom, so this won't last long, I'm sure. But we're going to let Mabel get some fresh air and walk around. And here's these beautiful little kittens. What's up, Mabel?
Mabel loves a good belly rub. Mabel, they're looking for you. Why'd you go so far away? Mabel, you're okay. You're okay. We're here with you. We're here with you. Yeah. Yeah. You're so brave. Yeah. And they all love you. They love their mom. Like, mom, give me some milk. Talk to me. Yeah, they're talking. I don't know what they're quite, they're saying. Look, this one's, um, <coughs> the umbilical cord is gone. Oh, yeah.